I'd like to welcome everybody out for uh, today's press conference. We are excited to uh, host the Icebreaker Tournament October 11 to 12, 2019 here at the Huntington Center. Uh, on the far left is Mike Snee, Executive Director of College Hockey Inc. Steve Miller, General Manager of the Huntington Center. Bob Moosbrugger, our Director of Athletics at Bowling Green, and Chris Bergeron, Head Hockey Coach at Bowling Green as well. Uh, each of them will speak for uh, a couple minutes and then we will open it up to a few questions and they'll be available for one-on-ones afterwards. As well, we have a uh, representative for Western Michigan, Adam Bodnar here, uh, if anybody would like to chat with him as well. So we'll begin with Mike Snee, Executive Director of College Hockey, Inc. Uh, thank you, and thank you everybody for being here today. It's uh, not a secret, the 2019 icebreaker, and in essence, the 2019 NCAA Division I men's college hockey season will start right here at the Hunt Huntington Center in Toledo. Uh, it's a great field, it's a great tournament every year, and this year in particular with the field that's, uh, uh, that we'll be playing in it. Um, currently, three of the four participating teams are in the top 20 in the country, and the fourth uh, school is um, close to being in the top 20. So in terms of the on-ice product that you'll see, it'll be very exciting. Uh, these four schools always play a very up-tempo, exciting style of hockey. And then even some of the storylines that are within it, of course, you'll have the interstate rivalry with Ohio State. Um, you'll have the MAC rivalry with Western Michigan. And then as I was kidding Coach Bergeron earlier, uh, the fourth school, RIT, has more Bowling Green Hall of Famers behind its bench than, uh, than behind the bench here at Bowling Green with um, Wayne Wilson and Brian Hills uh, at RIT. So uh, College Hockey Inc., on behalf of College Hockey Inc., we're very excited to work with Steve Miller and everybody from the Huntington Center as well as everybody from Bowling Green and look forward to being back here next fall. Thank you. I'm Bob Mooseberger, uh, Director of Athletics. Thank you, um, Mike Snee and Steve Miller. Um, BGSU is excited to uh, usher in the college hockey season next year, 2019, here at the Huntington Center. A great partner. Um, we've hosted games here, and uh, the Huntington Center is a great facility with a lot of events. Uh, Steve and I were just talking about all the events that happen here. Um, but bringing college hockey, these four great teams that Mike just talked about to Northwest Ohio, uh, Toledo, to kick off the uh, hockey season. We're excited about it. Uh, some will be some fantastic matchups, and uh, we're excited to be the epicenter of college hockey at the beginning of the season next year. Thank you. Awesome. I'm, I'm Steve Miller, General Manager with SMG here at the Huntington Center. Uh, we're really excited about hosting this tournament uh, and partnering with Bowling Green State University. We uh, hosted the NCAA hockey tournament here a few years ago with great success. And uh, Bowling Green have been a great partner with us, especially in the hockey world. Uh, we had uh, Bowling Green and the University of Michigan here in November of 2009. Uh, of course, I just mentioned the NCAA hockey tournament. And then now we get to, to actually choose the teams that come to the tournament, which we're all excited about. Bowling Green's got some great partnerships within the NCAA hockey world. And uh, with, with Ohio State and Bowling Green, Western Michigan, and RIT here in, in the uh, arena, we're going to have some great hockey, have uh, a lot of fans here that are, are hockey fans. Our, our Toledo Walleye brethren are already excited about this tournament because uh, they just want to see hockey in general. And I, di I didn't realize what Mike just mentioned, that we've got three teams in the top 20 already. So hopefully that's going to lead to some, some great opportunities for hockey. Just, just some statistics. I know you have a, a little bit of that already in uh, uh, the press release. But uh, it's October 11 and 12 of 2019. Western Michigan and uh, Ohio State will play the first game at 5 o'clock. And then uh, Bowling Green and RIT will play the second game at 8 o'clock, and then the losers play the first game the next day, and the winners play uh, the second game the next day. Tickets are, are uh, $59 and $49. That's for all four games. It's great value, great bargain uh, that you'll be able to come to see four uh, great hockey games over the two days. Thanks. I'm Chris Bergeron, the head hockey coach at Bowling Green, and I want to echo uh, what Bob said, um, thanking Mike and, uh, and College Hockey Inc. And, and, and their involvement in the process of, 
of, of us and the Huntington Center um, getting picked to host this event. And, and Steve Miller, to me, has only been a, a, a name on an email that Jim Elsasser and I have uh, talked about. So it's nice to meet Steve. And that relationship for me, as he mentioned, goes back to my second year at Bowling Green when we, uh, we were part of hosting the NCAA Regional here. And for me to see the behind the scenes of how a building like this can host an event like that uh, was just outstanding. I thought they did a great job. And, and from that day forward, we've done our best to have a game, uh, whether it be here in the Huntington Center, uh, we played an outdoor game at Fifth Third Field, um, and that just goes back to the relationship that we want to have with Steve and his staff and this building at BGSU and our hockey program, and it, it means a whole lot to us, so thank you very much for that, Steve. As far as the event in 2019, um, uh, as was mentioned, we, we've established uh, with the shakeup of the, uh, of the leagues five years ago, we've established that we want to keep Ohio State and Western Michigan as part of uh, part of our schedule and, and the Mid-American Conference rivalry, the in-state conference rivalry with both of those schools uh, respectively and then uh, the ties to RIT, we just think the whole thing fits uh, pretty neat and it's going to be a cool event and, and uh, we've got a bunch of hockey fans at BGSU and in Bowling Green in general that hopefully will follow us for, for this event and 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 the, the sell to our players over the course of the four teams is you get to play for a championship and you don't really do that that often in the month of October in our sport. We got a little taste of that last year by playing at the, at the Great Lakes Invitational at, at the holiday break time and, and it was uh, a really neat way to to uh, to break up our season by by halves and, and, and compete for a championship and this gives us one to kick off our season and compete, compete for a championship uh, really early and against uh, three great schools. So we're really excited to host it and, and again, thank you very much to Steve and, and his staff and Mike and his staff for allowing us to be part of it. We'll take a couple of questions here if, if you have any and then we'll break it up and anybody can get some one-on-ones if they want as well. Thomas, what? Uh, do you want to answer that, Mike? What, what goes into the decision as far as what teams compete in this and um, how you choose the site? Uh, there's a bid process, so a request was put out uh, a few years prior, probably in 2016 or 17 for this particular tournament. Um, the main requirement regarding the teams is that there has to be um, only one team per conference. There's six total conferences, so um, there's uh, four conferences, the Big Ten, the NCHC, Atlantic Hockey Conference, and then, of course, the WCHA represented this year. Um, but in terms of the exact schools, we leave that up to the host as long as they follow that guideline of having uh, uh, you know, four separate conferences represented. But in, in terms of the bid, uh, we had multiple bids for the tournament that year, and there were certainly other worthy places that we could have gone. But um, in doing our research on, on the Huntington Center, the community of Toledo, and of course Bowling Green and knowing the support here for um, the minor league sports that are here and I might have this thing correct but I think at one time I saw that Toledo was either the best or one of the best uh, 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 minor league sports communities or something like that I recall in our research so it was pretty obvious that this was going to be a great place to host the tournament. Did I have that correct by the way? Toledo is one of the best minor league yeah okay thank you yeah, yeah. all right any other questions today? If not, we will uh, see everybody at the Slater Family Ice Arena tonight, 7.37 p.m. Bowling Green in Western Michigan uh, is a precursor to next year's icebreaker. Thank you very much.